All right, you guys, today I am going to be making a delicious meal with Green Chef. And we've done work with them in the past and we love this company so much. We've also worked with their sister company, HelloFresh, and we equally love that. It's just so great. Okay, so Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well easy and affordable and they have meals that fit every kind of lifestyle. That's what I love about it. You can specialize this however you want. They even have vegetarian options, vegan options, paleo, keto, all the things. So we have a pretty typical like we eat all the things and so there's always a lot of options. But that's the cool thing about it is you can go on the app or the website and you can choose your meals and customize it and then you can choose your portion. So they come in sections of two portions. We usually buy four to six because we have eight people in our family, but they're pretty big portions and my kids are pretty little, so they'll share. So that's how we do it. What I love about this company also is I feel like I am a restaurant chef from like all over the world because they make it easy. They put the pictures, step-by-step -step instructions. They even have pro tips. Like for example, if you're cooking for four, make sure that you're doubling some of these things like the oil or whatever and you're using bigger pans because it'll tell you what size of bowls and stuff to use. Um, yeah, so let's get going. Everything is portioned perfectly. A lot of the prep is already done. And you guys, these vegetables are hand-picked and delivered right to my door. Like, it's so amazing. So yes, this video is sponsored by Grease Chef, and we do have a discount code for you guys to get an awesome, awesome discount. It's a good opportunity if you want to try it. For $100 off across your first four Green Chef boxes, Go to greenchef.us slash apraldavy100 and enter code apraldavy100. That's all you got to do. Okay, I'm going to put a link in the description. You guys are going to love this. That is so amazing. This is a problem. I don't know that we're going to have any left. You guys are eating so much of this. Okay, updating, here's what the patties look like. Guys, I'm gonna be real with you. One of my favorite things about doing this type of meal where it gives you these instructions, it gets me thinking of new flavors to put together because they're always like these most amazing flavors. Like I would have never dreamt of this and it's incredible. And I feel like it's giving me a course in culinary cooking school because it teaches you how to like do everything in the right times to have this done at the same time as this and this, like it all just comes together and everything's done at the same time at the end. And that's something that's hard to learn on your own. It's a lot of trial and error, but if you start doing these things, then it just becomes natural because you're like already in the habit of like rinsing and doing the produce and the prep work and then doing all this and like, it's just really awesome. So if you don't feel confident in cooking, I think this is such an important thing to try because it has increased my confidence. I feel like I could try any recipe now. Okay, we have the patties, the caramelized onions, the slaw, the potatoes, and the buns are toasting. All right, here's the finished product. It's really good. I did toast the buns a little more than I would have liked, but they're still soft and good. Um, how do you guys like it? So good. Everyone is scarfing it down, including Frank. Davey is running Zade over to ballroom, so he didn't get to try it. <laughs> he was a little bit too, I was a little bit too late for Zade, but okay. here we go. Mm. It's amazing. All right, you guys, for the rest of this vlog, we are going to be hiking Timpanogos. Um, just Davey and I went this time, but we did it in preparatory to take the kids in a couple weeks. So just a reminder, if you want to get the discount for Green Chef, you can go to greenchef.us and use code APRILDAVY100 to get $100 off plus free shipping on your first box. And that spreads over for your first four boxes. So check it out. On to the vlog. You guys gotta see this view from Timpanogos. It's amazing. All right. Good morning guys, 1.38 in the morning. Not sure how this evolved into waking up at this time, but somehow it did. Here we are, and here we go. Hike and tip today. This will be my third hike of the mountain. 
the last two of which have been in <laughs> in my 40s. So um, Zaid volunteered last minute to come. Um, he did have a friend that was coming. The Shant, uh, Jason and Bridget's daughter Kira is coming, so he wanted to have someone his own age. And I hope he does it twice, because we're planning on doing this again with the exchange students next month. But um, yeah, it's approximately an eight-hour hike. Zaid, you sure about this? Yeah. He's in. He's 100% in. So um, I think he'll be fine, actually. He's a strong boy, and we're, we're like going up the mountain way prepared. Like what I did as a kid, I don't even know that I carried a backpack up it. Like, I don't know why, but and we're- you guys went at like 2 p.m. too? No, I think that was a different hike than the one Grandma was talking about. Oh, really? She, she, my mom says she went up the mountain one time, uh, and they started at like 1 or 2 p.m. and didn't get back till like after midnight, 1 a.m. or something. And they only brought a pack of M&Ms with them, <laughs> and we're that was a different trip than the one I did with them. But yeah, I did it. I don't know. I was probably 12 years old or something when I did it. So um, here we go. We're gonna meet up with some friends and hike the mountain. Okay, we made it up to the trailhead. It's 2:45 a.m. We are. My headlamp's almost dead, so that's not a good sign. We got a crew, mostly women, and Zaid, and me. And then we're gonna rock and roll. It's a pretty much full moon. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And here we go. Okay, where are we? In the Scout Falls? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? We're, we're one mile in. Zaid, how you holding up? Kira, we're there. <laughs> Closer? Mm -hmm. Sw subscribe to Kira's channel. She may do another video. It's okay. There we go. Scout Falls. Here we go. Guys, we're 17 miles in. Okay, we're one mile in. Okay, we are, can't see me, but you can hear me, 5.77 miles in. We're above 10,000 feet. We are cruising. We, we've got the morning glow in the, in the sky. The morning glow is happening. It's beautiful. And uh, we are cruising. I, we did not hike it up this fast, this, this fast last year. All right, guys, just had to do a little bathroom break. We're doing good and beautiful there's smoke in the air look at this there's actually snow right behind me i could go touch snow right now in july right there there's some glaciers back here we won't be by those but i could touch snow right there so cool we're getting close we're there we're well above ten thousand feet but Okay hey guys, made it to the top. It's all about the view. It's not a super good view. Smoke in the valley, but you can kind of see it. You see Utah Lake back there. It's pretty good. Nate, are you glad you came? Last year, this is the saddle. This is the way windy spot, but it's just, yeah, it's fine. And Rain, Rain is about to do a hand, headstand, is that correct? Yep, right here. Better here than at the top. That's what I <laughs> okay, here we go. Headstand at 10,793 feet. April went to the oh, edge to do it. <laughs> Uh, okay, April, you don't have a, a beanie on. I don't think I'm Look at you, Rita. How's it working out for you, April? I like this. This is the one that's going to get posted. What's she doing? I'm not sure what's happening here. Okay. <laughs> that's the moon, and that we think that's the sun. Is that the sun? <laughs> seven miles less than a mile left this is probably the steepest part I don't know if you can really tell the incline but it is it's just straight up rock climbing this was they has been looking for we're all a little dizzy so you got to take it easy 
Okay, oh, something's happening. I'm panicking, but... <laughs> Kara wanted to be in the vlog. Um, we're close, we're about to the shack. Um, I hope they're open this early in the morning. Um, I'm not really sure what their hours are for the burger, the burger shack that's on top, but... We'll see, let's do this, Sade. Okay, we are not to the top yet, but we've got some goats. Oh, there they are. I can't believe they have food up here. What do they eat? A little shrubbery? It's so crazy. Huh. That's so cool. Here we are, there's the shack. We still got a bit. Oh, there's a zoom in. Goats, sun. There we are. Okay. I don't know how these guys survive up here, but these, these I feel like they're coming at us. Like, getting a little aggressive here. Look at it. That's so cool. You guys, oh man, look at that goat. Right there. We made it. We're summiting right now. Super dizzy. We've been taking slow, taking lots of breaks, but. <clears throat> We're just feet away from the shack. It's so amazing. It's definitely not as cold as it was last year. We're here. Here comes the summit. All right. There's the summit. We've got an American flag up here. Here we go. All right. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> Zaid, high five, bro. I'm so proud of you. Good job, buddy. Nailed it. Let's hang. Oh, there's people in hammocks here. Yeah. How do you like that? Yeah, it is so much warmer than last year. Yeah, there's Deer Creek there. You can see the reflection barely. I will tell you, I guess you never know what the weather's going to be up here. We're on the peak here. And it was so, it was bone chilling wind up here last time. And it's nothing, it is peaceful. Maybe it's the smoke slowing it down, but um, I think I'm actually sitting right on the, where's the, oh, it's right here. There it is, Zade, that's the mark. Okay, we're sitting up here on the top. There's chipmunks this year. They sat on a window. Hey, <laughs> little birds. Play this in backwards, two times speed, and see what it says. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, we spent some time at the top. There's nothing like summiting a mountain. That is such a cool experience. Um, we are heading down now. Total time, we've been on the hike. It's a little over five hours. We spent probably a half hour up on top. Yep, things got a little crazy up there. <laughs> Man, I think we've told you guys, but we're doing this hike with adults, and the plan is to come back with all the kids. This is the ankle. Ankle, ankle. Ankle. Yeah. So uh, next full moon, we're planning on coming up with Ender, Ambry, Daisy, Zaid, Nacho, and Susie. Okay, we're back to the goat fam. Hey, guys. On our way down, checking out the goats. Yeah, that's so cool. Okay, another vantage point. Um, we're on our way down still. This is the saddle that we took a break at when we came up that first little break. It's in between the two big peaks. And this has been so fun. I was telling Zade at the top, I hope this is one of your this is one of your core memories, because it definitely was like I never forgot it as a kid. We have no pictures of it. Like most of the things I have as a kid are only because we have pictures of it. I told him, I hope this is one of your core memories. I hope you never forget this. I told him I loved him. I told him I was proud of him. So, um, yeah, I just, I'm so glad he came up this. It was, took a while to talk him into it. Hey okay, guys, we're on our way down. I just ran for a second, that's why I'm out of breath. It's so much easier going down though. On the way down, you get to see wildflowers. You really get to see the scenery, but that's where we were. That's the shack. 
making our way down there. Oh, real good, real good. So fun, I love hiking. Okay, we're on our way down. Hold on, hold that thought. Um, here comes the crew right here on this trail. There they are. Where are they? So pretty. Backside of Temp right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Have you no shame? We are making it down. I'm taking care of the, the teens. We're very split up. There's kind of three main groups right now. There's April's up far ahead. We lost her a long time ago. 12.7 miles. The total hike time is seven and a half hours. I think we're gonna be above eight hours with all these breaks we're taking. But, okay, baby, um, they're for you. Let's admit you're just tired. <laughs> well, I'm doing fine. Um, I don't know. The beetle just fell from above. It's, it's not, it's Temperature, I'm not sure of, but it's it's warming up. It's warming up quick, so. Okay, we're eight miles, 20 minutes in. Met up with most of the group, found April. Eight she was, um, but we're eight out, a little over eight hours in, eight hours, 20 minutes in. All right, maybe I heard you. We're uh, all coming up on 15 miles. We should be getting close to the end. I think it's between 15 and 15 and a half miles. Group's doing good. There's two stragglers way back, so we're gonna have to wait a bit. But like, I gotta go. Yeah, we all carpooled to the top though, so that's the hard thing when there's different so speed hikers. Um, yeah, we. So we are cruising down and we're gonna do, this will be hike number three for me on Timp. Hike two for April. You never did it when you were young, right? So yeah, the caves and I've never actually done the Timpanogos cave. That's a big tourist site in, in Utah. We need to take the kids to that. Maybe the exchange too. You guys, we, there is light at the end of the tunnel. I like it. I like it a lot. 15.08. So fun. So fun. Guys, we did it. Total time, eight hours, 27 minutes. That's with breaks. And a little slower than last year. A little slower, yeah. A little and I think we took a little longer break up there, but that was amazing. Guys, it's setting in. Extreme fatigue. However, I will say I will trade the sleep deprivation and fatigue for the cooler hike, like the cooler weather, to hike in the night any day. On the way down, I got so hot and I was just like dying. Yeah, only so I half, thought the second half was hot. I so. couldn't have done it in this temperature up and back. That'd be so hard. Like it would just be excruciating. <clears throat> so I feel like the way we do it is the right way. And the parking lot's not full when you get up there. Like there's just it's great. I love it. So we're gonna keep doing it that way. However, I'm starving. We have our Roxbury. We're gonna get some burgers and I have a problem, guys. I used the Go Girl. If you don't know what that is, Google it. To go to the bathroom, <laughs> I might have accidentally not used it properly. User error, I peed my pants. Does not feel great right now. So I really want to get home and shower. <laughs> Luckily it was towards the end of the hike, but then I had to finish about an hour and a half to two hour hike down with pee pee pants. We are not going to fit through this drive through <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Uh, oh. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> it was close. We got like three right. inches. We're home! Yay! What you doing? Makeup on? We had a tea party. Something's going on here. Well, hello. We stopped off and got some food. Cookie puppy. Hi, guys. Do you miss us? Yeah. No. Yeah. You must be. Oh, I'm Daisy. Guess what? A little tired. A little. Ooh, you figuring out this game? You have to teach me how to play. Hey, Dad. Scam a lot. Hey, Daisy, Yanya. Yeah. How was the tea party? Hi, Cookie puppy. <laughs> you know how to play too? Yeah. How was the tea party? Guys, checking in. 
Me and April both got some a little bit of sleep. Zade is still sleeping. It's 6.30 at night. All the kids are having a pool party. Another one. Wrapping things up and Daisy asked Say hi, to pop Frank. A on her nose, so. She asked you to? Yeah. Mm, is that true, Daisy? True, huh? hmm. <laughs> All right, guys, that does it for the Timpanogos vlog. Thanks for watching. Find good and everything, and we'll see you tomorrow. Guys, still in? Daisy? Yep. And are EB still in? Feeling it? Okay, EB we got to start. EB can't. You guys going to be, she gets yeah, to play with Grandma. What? Are you guys going to be practicing during the weeks? Ambry? Yep. Okay, sounds good. Hey guys, find good and everything. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.